We have some really old horses, like Charles, <laughs> who's really old. We don't even know how old. He, he doesn't eat hay, he balls it up because he doesn't have teeth. So he'll spend the whole night and turn his whole pile into a bunch of balls. He's a former carriage horse. This is Patty. Did you meet Steve Malone? The president? Yes. He yes. Spoke? This was his horse. I like to say that he's the greatest horse in the whole history of the world, but <laughs> that's a little bit biased, <laughs> but that's okay. These mares, they outlive their owner. We have a few horses like that. They have two mares here. They're, they, in their mid they're in their mid-30s. They don't have teeth. One of them lost their eyesight, but they're going strong. You know, they're just retired. Buford was... Uh, Buford was truly a, one of those cases of uh, neglect and abuse. Hey, Buford. He, when we met him, he was in a barn where he was literally eating his way out of the barn. He was, he was locked in a stall. He couldn't get out. And he had sores all over his body. He was all skin and bone. He got stuck in a mud bog when he was a baby. It caused his body to compensate in such a way that it fused his hips. The they winched him out of this. It was he gets, he's on regular acupuncture treatments. He does... We have trained him to pull, he can pull like five bales of hay and he feels really proud of himself. It, his brother, Merlin, is fully trained, so he's watched Merlin do work. So it's, he's really wanted to be part of it. And so just to make him emotionally feel included, 